How did you get out? Um, some friends started to realise that I had changed and when he was around. So he, he would come to conference with me and come to various events that we did, labour events and things and some stuff at work. And people had realised that I was kind of different around him. And um, close friends just kept saying, I don't know if you noticed the way he spoke to you. And they would, they would sort of, and I'd be like, well, you know, he's had a hard day. Or, you know, I would make excuses and, and then, you know, I started adding up those comments and I suppose I realised that so many people were kind of raising red flags and saying that they weren't comfortable. And um, my mum then started saying something. She was very careful and cautious and she's a counsellor and a lot of her clients, she works for a rape charity. And um, I think she knew pretty early on that this was not a situation I should be in. And I started... <laughs> I started asking her questions about relationships that I think raised a flag with her. I just kept doubting myself and my, my instincts, which I shouldn't have done. But my friends and my mum were kind of reaffirming that actually my instincts were right. And um, eventually I realised I just couldn't, I couldn't carry on being frightened in my own home anymore. It wasn't very often that I was physically afraid of him, but he made it very clear that, you know, it wouldn't take much for him to sort of snap me like a twig, really, you know, or to properly hurt me. And he did take control in situations where, I mean, there are laws against it. That's, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Um, yeah. God, Rosie, that's, it's spine tingling.